Page 96, Rocket Away. They're introducing the flat side. So now we're going to start using the black notes. If we haven't been using them before, let's talk about the flat sign. They show you what it looks like. And in the music, it will always come right before the note it applies to. The rule is, and this is for flats, sharps, and naturals. All right, I'm going to repeat it when they introduce the sharp and the natural sign. It applies from the point it's introduced in the measure from that spot for the rest of the measure. And that's it. Once you go to another measure, it's no good. It cancels out. They give you an example up here. They got some measures up there. They're showing you it starts with a G, an A, and a B with a flat sign in front of it. So it's a B flat. So instead of playing a B, we're going to take it down one note, one key on the keyboard, white or black. So we're going to go here. That is a B flat. See? Generally in piano, not always, but generally, the finger used to play the natural note or the white note will also be used to play the flat or sharp if we had a sharp. That's not always true, but it, in this case it is. So. The first B in that second measure has a flat sign, so it's a B flat and an A. The second B in the measure doesn't have a flat sign. However, it's still a flat. It's still a B flat because the flat sign applies for the rest of the measure. So the first flat, the B flat first one, all the B's in that measure for the rest of the measure are flat, period, unless they have a natural and you haven't had natural signs yet, so they're going to be flat. So that second B in that measure is also a B flat. Now the last measure, the whole note, you cross the bar line so the, the previous flat sign doesn't apply anymore. It's a new measure. So they have to give you another flat sign in order for a B flat. Otherwise it would be a B natural. And that's the way flats worked. So it's, now a flat again goes down one key on the keyboard, white or black. So if I'm here, a G, and I want a G flat, I go down one note, white or black. If I'm here, C, I want a C flat, I go down one note, white or black. It's a C flat. Yes, I know, it's also a B. Every key on the keyboard, white or black, has multiple names. But they make sense, so don't fret too much about that multiple name junk, okay? Just know a flat goes down one key white or black. Whatever the next key is going down, that's it. Doesn't matter. In Rocket Away, look at the last measure of the first line and you get your first B flat in the piece. Right. They're telling you to use third finger. I'm telling you you're in G position. And since you're in G position, you're going to use third finger on the B flats anyway. In this piece. It just works out that way. Take a look at the second line, third measure. In the right hand, you see the B flat, G, and a half note. That is a B flat because the flat sign carries for the rest of the measure. All right? Only that measure. For instance, look at the third line, last, last measure. You have a B flat and an A. Then in the next measure, the first measure of the last line, you have two G's and a B natural because the flat sign from the previous measure doesn't count here. It's in a different measure. So this is a natural. Okay. Uh, they must have already shown you sharp signs because you are have sharps in here, right? There's a sharp at the bottom. Uh, you're getting sharp in the left hand. Uh, second line, last measure. That's an F sharp. You know, and the last line, the next to the last measure. That there, there's a you know it's it's a it's a D7 chord it's a an F sharp so I must have already explained sharps at some point and the rule for sharps works the same as flats so let's try rock it away four four time melodies in the right hand the phrasing is pretty simple each line is a phrase right so it's okay you do have tied notes in the 
left hand, the chords, a lot of them are tied, so make sure you tie them. They give you the chord names in case there's a guitar player around. So let's try it out. There's no pedal. I'll give us four counts. Let's play it. You're in G position. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Three, four. 